She has me in heels. I got I the girl in heels. I don't like heels. Like I don't. And the thing is, I actually own a lot of heels, but I just don't like heels at all. But this is it. Um, my outfit, it's it's on, but it's not on how I want it to be because I just didn't have time. And it's time for me to take pictures, I'll fix it, whatever. But we just trying to make a set of reservations on time. Um, traffic and well, our plane wasn't delayed. It was just the traffic that made us run late. And I also had to like upload a video, or whatever. So I kind of got ready pretty late. Um, so yeah, I started getting ready at eight o'clock. That I take a long time. Like everybody knows, I take a long time. Ooh, now y'all can really see us. Look at that. Y'all can see the girl. Y'all see us, flawless, flawless. You feel me? Luckily, the restaurant is only six minutes away, so we're not too bad. It says we're gonna get there at eleven eighteen. At this point, you guys would have already seen the Italy vlog. Um, and yeah, hope you guys like that one. We just got in from Milan today, and. Yeah, we're in Paris for two days and then we head to London you guys and me and my cousin are also like color coordinating like I have orange and her outfit is like orange so hopefully we can find somebody to take our pictures because that'll be so cute like we're color coordinating everything oh look even her bag goes like with my outfit low key like it's just so cute her outfit is so cute I can't wait to show it to you guys we're gonna take our pictures after dinner and then it's a cute spot in there yeah I know how that go. yeah but I literally laid this wig down because the thing is my cousin hates the fact that I literally like lay my wig down every single day but I can't sleep in here so I have to do that every single day yeah that's a lot <laughs> and she's like oh my god you gotta you gotta do something but it looks good you feel me so I'll talk to you guys once we get into the restaurant I'm sorry that I'm starting off the vlog so chaotic it's not typically like this but I just realized it's the beginning of it this is not like a pickup or something so yeah I'll talk to you guys later Got some breakfast. What happened? Did you see my face almost literally demolish itself into the glass? <laughs> no. We got some breakfast. We got it to go because there was no seats downstairs. Last night was a vibe. Like, I'm telling you, these Europeans know how to party. Like, Europeans know how to party. Last night was a vibe, you guys. Um, we went to Kalamata, Paris. Literally, we were the only black people there. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's like a Greece 
grease is a grease i had the best gyros ever last night and it was just a vibe like literally a vibe like we were just in awe and shock all of the above but it's the next morning we wanted to go out um after but not gonna lie we were tired like we were dead ass tired like i feel like this trip like especially since paris in the, is like towards the end of the trip like we starting to get tired but like i'm sorry london i'm showing up for my london babes period okay but we are definitely going out tonight we are fully rested we agreed last night that it's either we go out tonight right or we go out tomorrow night excuse me we go out tomorrow night and we still for like almost 16 hours because we're gonna go and do some sightseeing we have like three sites that we wanted to go see we're in paris for only two days so we couldn't see that many sites and i need to go to chanel and get my bag so, yeah, we were supposed to do that in Milan, but we literally had no time to go to Chanel, like, at all. And Chanel was not in the uh, Duomo Plaza, or uh, Piazza. We didn't have time to go, and like I said, we were only there for two days. Well, two nights, to be honest. We had stuff planned almost every single day, every single second. And I was like, I really want to buy this bag. So today, while we're in Paris, I'm going to make an admission to go to Chanel. Also, please don't mind my bonnet. I mean, please don't mind my beret, because I decided to sleep in my wig on last night. And my bonnet mysteriously walked away, you guys. So I just decided to, you know sleep with the beret and it did its job and i'm literally fitting in you feel me i continue to update you guys as the day goes on but i'm gonna eat my food because i'm hungry and like it's literally just staring at me right now and i'm starving so yeah it is the next morning we are dressed and out it's currently three o'clock we have a really late start to the day that's, that's what I'm every say. day though at this point it's not every day at this point though but literally we should have left earlier and no shade and why was we because of her because of her it's currently three o'clock we're going to the louvre and then uh we're gonna go uh, shopping like that's really it like we're gonna go to the louvre and then go shopping i feel like those are the two main things that i really want to do in paris don't be wrong i would love to do more sightseeing but i knew that we didn't have that much time here so i didn't want to be you know have my hopes up basically and then we didn't have time to do everything um so we're gonna go to the louvre and go to the chanel store to make sure to see if they have my bag right. them chanel bags the bad habit <laughs> so that's basically that like that's really all I not all I wanted to do like don't get me wrong I would have loved to spend like a full week in like Paris and like just you know do everything that everyone does when they come to Paris or visit Paris for the first time but I just knew I did not have the time and I was like I didn't want to you know put that much stress on myself and I end up being upset especially since in London we're gonna be doing a lot in London I'm so excited I have this fire fit on I literally waited for France to wear this fit because I was like no like I need to be in France to wear and also it's Paris Fashion Week when we booked this we didn't know Paris Fashion Week was going on oh everybody's here like everybody's here Burna Boy's here and I still y'all that's a different story for a different day but everybody's here so I'm like oh shoot oh my god look at the Eiffel Tower you can see it like behind the building well you i'll show you guys a better view like when i get a better view but we're also going to see the eiffel tower that's what i wanted to do we're also going to go see the eiffel tower and take some pictures by the eiffel tower oh, Maxie, look at the eiffel tower to the Louvre. We've actually seen Mona Lisa and everything. I'm not standing on Okay. Y'all, I don't do lines. We don't do lines. But y'all, we made it to the Louvre. We already seen Mona Lisa and everything as you guys saw by the um, montage. Now we're actually on our way out to go order our Uber to Chanel I want a bag. And I hope they have my bag. I really want the nude mini classic black. Okay. It's a small. Excuse me, sorry. I'll talk to you guys when we get to Chanel. My hair looks crazy. It looked better before, but like I wanted to do like this big, like hump, like so it could be big right here. And then pictures is not really reflecting like that, so kind of messed it up. I have to brush it out, but I don't have a brush. Like I need a paddle brush. So it's Chanel, and I'm super, super happy. Hopefully, we can get my back. I don't know why I'm so overexposed. But we have to wait online because we don't have an appointment and I think it's like three people ahead of us. Um, so we can speak to an advisor. So, yeah. Hope they have my bag that I want. Um, and if they do, I'll just be super duper happy. So, yeah. We're gonna have the classics. And then, you said that one is the classic right? Yeah. Yeah.
Thank you. Oh, wow, I look insane right now. And the reason yeah, I like that, like, style better. Yeah, this is the clap, the one that I came in here for. But the other mini flaps, am I able to put it as a shoulder bag or not? As a as a shoulder bag. Uh, is it double flap? You can. This is the mini. This is the mini, right? Like this size is good for me. Like this is how I wanted it to be. But I feel like I saw somebody put it as a, a shoulder bag. You can put it as a shoulder bag. Right. Okay, yeah. I just gotta figure out how to do that when I do You that. yeah. I think we just have to like insert the string inside. Do you know when you guys will get the, the mini, you know? There's no mini stock. We just left Chanel and I tried to record a bit for you guys while I like get my technical code for you guys. But you guys know how they do in these luxury stores. No recording, okay? But now I'm running to Cartier because I really want a ring. Like, I feel like I want something to say, oh, yeah, I was in Europe and I didn't purchase anything in Italy. Like, when I say I didn't purchase anything, not even something from Zara. So, I'm just like, how can I say I went to Europe and didn't do no shopping? And, y'all, my main goal was to shop. Like, I've never been so ready to shop before. And the fact that places don't have my stuff my main goal in Paris was to go to the Chanel store and they said no we don't have it like they don't have it at all um they don't know when they're gonna get it I was like oh maybe if I come to the source you know I might have some luck absolutely not absolutely not and they do have like um mini flaps but they don't have classic flaps they only have the seasonal ones as they just came out with a new collection so they only have seasonal ones and i don't want those because they don't have the silhouette that i like it's not structured like the chains aren't what i want at all and when i tried the mini flap and the tweed fabric i was like yes this is exactly what i want i want it in like the nude or white but they were like yeah that's literally the hardest bag to get like one of the hardest bags to get in chanel so yeah and it was like they only get like one like they might even get one only in the store and i'm just like this is chanel we're talking about like how are you guys only getting one of like a certain item y'all make the bags here like make me a bag you know <laughs> like i wish it was that easy like just make me a bag you know but it's fine if I can't, if Cartier doesn't let me in, because literally you gotta be 650. If they don't let me in, I won't. He's about to hit me. Oh, these French drivers is crazy and they close off the sidewalk. But yeah, we're running to Cartier right now to see if I can get a ring. I want a love ring. It's either I get it now or I wait till my birthday to get it. And if I can't get it now, I'll just get it for my birthday because I feel like both of those are like special occasions. Am I going the wrong way? Oh, I may be going the wrong way. The maps is messing up. My cousin is all the way in the back because she has like heels on and stuff like that. So I'm literally rushing to see if they're going to let me in. This is Rolex. And then I remember I saw Cartier. Nearby, that's Dior. Where was Dante? Where is my cousin? Hey guys, we made it into Cartier literally three minutes to spare, and she was just sizing my ring. But I got lost for my cousin. Like, she has on her um, Givenchy shark boots, so she couldn't walk as fast as me. And I'm like, okay, I have like less than five minutes to get to Car um, Cartier, and we were at um, Chanel. So I was like, okay, I'm running, I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. So I'm thinking this whole time she's behind me. This girl wasn't behind me, and I'm like, where is she at? She was like, you started walking mad fast, and she finally got to, uh, connected to internet. I'm calling her, I'm like, where is she? Like, I turn on, I even turn on my cellular data. Mind you, she keeps hers off, so it's not like, she'll turn it off. So she waited until she got connected to internet to um do it, but I'm just like, girl, like, what's going on? Y'all yeah, might be like, you just wanted to buy something, just to buy something low-key, but I, oh, now my battery died, and I'm getting my first card here. I'm gonna ask my husband if I can use her battery. High key, she might say no, but we'll see. Okay, or I might switch to my phone to see it. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Everything is wrapped up, you guys. Thank you. Everything is wrapped up real nice. <laughs>
we got the bag. My battery's dying, you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. But I'm happy. And they're gonna put it in the white bag so nobody can rob us. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, and it even has the flap. We've made it back home and I'm still vlogging on my phone because my camera is dead. Don't mind me. I have my shaper on. You're not seeing too much. But I'm taking my cousin's Givenchy boots off because she's been walking them all day. I should really button this up. This looks crazy. It looks crazy. <laughs> this looks crazy. Let me button this up and then talk to you guys. And I wanted yeah. these boots. Oh, I told you guys about everything with these boots already. Okay, it's coming off. It's coming off. It's coming out. I told you everything about these boots already. How I wanted them and stuff. But she has the regular version, not the okay, it's wide. Coming it's coming out? Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. Uh, it wasn't too bad. Honestly, I've seen worse people like, people really be like, oh, I can't take them off. No, I take my shits off. Yeah, I no. Made, it's too tight for them. That's because, yeah, when you're walking the line, you're sweating your feet. <gasps> Yeah, I cannot stand up. My feet is done. <laughs> Hold on. I think it like I think it's bruised. Let me see. No, I look, really, at the, look at the socks. They're turning black from the thing. From the leather. Yeah, I really think I bruised my legs. I mean my feet. Am I being dramatic? You are. Yeah, y'all don't know. But I'm about to go use the bathroom, y'all. I just need to show you guys. And I still have the tag. So shirt is for sale if anybody wants it. <laughs> Cause niggas is in packs. We're at the Eiffel Tower. We're currently at this, the carousel. We're getting some crepes. <laughs> Naomi? Oh, Game, game Homie. Home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. I got you. These are good. That's the content for me. Is that is he is that him? It's probably yeah. It probably is. I think you should go. Okay. Okay. Thank. Thank you. And it's so cold. All right. Thank you. Hey, homie hanging on my neck. The brace and matches are set. My brother name is Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the net. My mama wish I would have went corporate. She wish I would have went exec. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec. Cherie, boo, him on back. They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the man. Guys, it is the next morning. I've already checked out. I'm waiting for my cousin to come down. We're about to order the Uber to the train station. It's currently noon. Our train leaves at like 1.13. And apparently they're very prompt. I'm trying to get there on time because I also have to do my um, tax free thing for my car earrings. So I'm trying to get there on time really, really fast. And I believe the place is like 30 minutes away from us. We're riding Gero stop. It's a 32 minute drive from us. So we gotta hurry up and go. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Paris was fun with the vibe. I can't wait to go to London, my second home away from home that I've only been to once. I'm super happy. I enjoyed my time at Paris. Last night, I didn't even tell y'all. It was so much that happened last night, but it already happened. Everything was resolved. It's good. So I don't feel like I need to even explain anymore. But yeah, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys once we get to London. How can I be homophobic? My bitch is gay. Hit man in the top track, see a man topless, even the stick is gay. Hugging my brothers and say that I love them, but I don't swing that way. The man them celebrate Eid, the trap still running on Christmas Day. Somebody told Doja Cat. That I'm trying to indulge in that In my great tracks, so you see the bulging That see the motion clap when you're throwing it back These females planning on doing me wrong So I'm grabbing a dumb at the children pack Post a location after we're gone Can't slip and let them know where we're at I don't know about you, but I value my life Cause imagine I die, die And I ain't made a hundred M's yet There's so much things I ain't done yet Like fucking a flight attendant I don't party, but I heard Cardi there So fuck it, I might attend it Got a kickback sometimes and wonder How life would have been if I never did take them risk And would have I prospered Floating and I won't go under Been out of town for a month Absence made the love grow fonder UK rapper, UK drill Gotta mention my name if you talk about the genre All right. 
we are in London, you guys. We were supposed to go to Shisha Gardens, but um, we didn't make it. Well, we weren't gonna make it in time. It's like 30 minutes away from our hotel. We're currently staying at the Westminster. And yeah, it's like, it was, we was gonna get there at like 1.58 and it closed. No, not even, 12.58. And it closed at one. So we was just like, it is what it is. Um, and my cousin found another hookah lounge. But tomorrow we're going to a very highly recommended lounge called Hyatt. So we're gonna be on time for that for sure. But I don't know why, like first day at the new location always, I don't think it ever goes out as planned. But what was, was that one location that went out as planned? Paris? Was it Hi. Paris? What? When like the location turned out as planned. Like the first day turned out just as planned. Or was it Milan? First day never goes as planned for some reason. Like, today's not really all the way our fault. Um, the trains were delayed, but then we were late for the train, so it's kind of our fault. But um, not not delayed. Our train time was pushed back. Right now we're on our way to the hookah lounge. I actually, don't even know the name of the hookah lounge, but they're the only one that was open until 2 a.m. So. Bro got black and white like MJ Carmel one Shibat. Bro got black and white like MJ Carmel one Shibat. Better than you, you might. Once you stroking that back, bouncing back. You hear that clap, clap. You hear that clap, clap. You hear that clap, clap. Ha <laughs> ha. Yo, expensive taste for Tega, no Ben Tega, bro. Serve that no way up. The next morning, um, we're ready to go out for afternoon tea. Last night, we ended up going to Singapore's. Um, that was the name of the hookah lounge, um, or shisha lounge here in the UK. And it was a vibe, it was super cute, I loved it. Fair warning, anytime I'm going out to a lounge, restaurant, anything, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be a montage, just because of the fact that they play music and I need to make my money, straight up. It was so pretty on the inside and they had like some good music. Initially when we first entered, they were playing like Mediterranean, not Mediterranean, but like more so like shisha lounge music, if that makes sense. But as the night went on, they started playing more hip hop, um, you know, R&B songs or whatever. So that was really, really nice. We didn't get any food there, but they do sell food there and they are halal, so they don't carry any type of liquor or anything like that. The place is so beautiful and the staff is really, really nice. So I do recommend a very gloomy day in London. And yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be gloomy for the whole week, but I hope not because I told you guys before, um, we're gonna do the London Eye. And if we had it today, we were not gonna see anything because it's so gloomy. You're not gonna see nothing. The skies are, cloudy nothing you won't see anything so hopefully like it's better tomorrow and it's not so gloomy tomorrow um so we can see the city and everything well yeah the city of london um when we're on the london eye but for right now i know for sure we're not seeing anything if we were to get on right now so yeah that's just a quick little update definitely do recommend going to singapore as loved it great vibe beautiful place i didn't show you guys how my completed look is gonna look like i'm wearing this scarf I look like a no nom. <laughs> but yeah, this is my completed look. The Chanel scarf. And I have like a tweed blazer. It's super cute. It's gonna give. Okay, it's gonna give. You guys already know. So we made it to Harris. Um, that's where the Tiffany's is at. It's the Tiffany Blue Box Cafe in Harris. And this is my full look. You guys have got the chance to show with you guys, like the scarf on and everything. So yeah, we have a guy And it's just a vibe, you know? But we just placed that order. Well, it's currently 12.48. We have to wait until after one for the afternoon tea stuff to come out because of the fact that um, that's where the afternoon tea starts. So, yeah, but for right now, we're just here chilling and not doing much. And yeah. Cucumber, sandwich, beef, chicken, and salmon on the ends. I'm probably only gonna eat the chicken, but super cute. And I also gave my cousin like this pretty card, wishing her a happy birthday. This is actually really good. I only eat the chicken one, you guys, because I don't eat red meat, and the other two were, I think, salmon and something else, I'm not too sure. But the chicken is really good. And they basically do everything like first. They bring it out one by one. So they put out um, a truffle or something like that first. And then they go out the sandwiches and I guess after. And then they got the sweets and stuff like that. 
So, yeah, it's like an experience, basically. But I'm also, I don't know if I told you guys my tea that I got, but I got the white tea. And it's like that. Shelly's face, Tiffany Blue Egg, Shelly's white chocolate, coconut flavor, with vanilla chantilly cream in the center is lemon tart. Custard tart, raspberry rhubarb cheesecake, dark chocolate cheesecake, plain scones, comes with raisins, comes with clotted cream, raspberry jam, and strawberry. Wow, thank you so much. You guys were eating. We just finished taking some pictures. The scones are literally amazing. And I don't know what butter they use, but this butter is good as well. Like, it's so good. We just finished brunch. I need to touch up my makeup a bit. I said brunch. Well, technically brunch, but it was afternoon tea specifically. We just finished afternoon tea. It's actually a nice experience. First high tea ever. Um, so it was really nice experience. They, like I said, they brought everything out like one by one type thing. We literally sat in there for like a good 30 to 45 minutes just taking pictures of the desserts. And they were nice about it. Cause typically they were like, okay, I gotta hurry up or something like that. I mean, they're not gonna force you to eat, but they will be like, yeah, you guys have 20 minutes left on your reservation or something like that. But they were super cool. And I was up to Tana, but they were super cool. Didn't say much about anything. But now we're on our way to Oxford Street. Um, I put the location into Selfridges because I just wanted to do some shopping while I'm in London. Everyone's like, go to Oxford Street, you know? So I was like, yeah, I want to go to Oxford Street, do some shopping, go to the Zara, just do just a bit of everything basically. And London has a lot of stores, like New York doesn't have this much stuff. Like, what? It's so many. Oh my God, they have a Poochie store. I didn't even know Emilio Pucci had a store. They have so many stores in London and I wanna get something. In Italy, I really wanted to get some boots. We just never had time to go to like actual stores and purchase. But it's fine though, cause I highly thought that they would have boots that fit my calves. So I would've just went in there and be disappointed low key. So yeah, but I'll talk to you guys once we make it to Oxford Street to do some shopping. But I definitely recommend doing a high tea while you're in London. Like it's just, it's the vibe, you know what I'm saying? Like you have to, like it just, you have to. So yeah, um, I did like Tiffany's and it's like, it's such an iconic thing. Like, you know, the Tiffany blue, it's just so iconic. So definitely recommend if you ever come to London or if you're in London and you're just trying to find some things to do, do a high tea one day with you and your best friend or one of your close friends, just go and do a high tea. So yeah. Uh, we made it to South Bridges and we're going to the third floor to see what they have. Super excited. Cause every time I'm shopping, like even my JPG stuff was from the self, it was from Selfridges. Like it's not from New York. They were shipping it from Selfridges. So I might as well just come straight to the source, you feel me? So I'm excited to see what pieces I buy in London today. I wanna do some shopping. I wanna do quite a bit of shopping. But I need to also remember that I don't have that much storage in my um luggage. And I need to do my lips or something over. Cause it looks like I had a mustache. I think the way I did my lip liner. But yeah talk to you guys if i find anything cute or cool i picked up this top from house of sunny i have it in both the blue colorway and the pink colorway i don't know which one i'm gonna like more but i'm currently in jpg <gasps> and you guys like the u.s does not have this this is this is so f this oh my god oh my god like stunning stunning and they have um the top that i wore recently but the dress version of it, which is super cute, self bridges has the pieces in it. So, yeah. I hear men them talking. You guys, this is how the top looks like. I literally realized that I can't take this blazer just off because I had to sew it because my bra was showing. So I had to put it on all over just so I can see. And also, I had to roll down my shapewear because it was cutting my circulation so i rolled it down initially i had rolled it up so it could you know so it won't show um from the dress but maybe it's gonna be long so i was like i'm gonna just roll it down and put my jacket over it but i think i like this top though like i love the colors my cousin say you get this color but i really don't like it and i feel like this i can do more and i can have more fun with so i think i'm gonna do this but i want to see if they have like a smaller size like i want it to be real fitted like Pro fitted so and also this is like used we're gonna see if they have um another size but i think i'm gonna get this for sure love it so cute fortunately i will not be able to get the top because they don't have it in a size smaller and i wanted it in a size smaller you got it? no they didn't have it in a size smaller it was too big sadly 
But yeah, we're gonna go and head out now. Oh, you ever heard of Dim Tai Fung on TikTok? But it's mainly an LA thing. I didn't know they had it in London. But yeah, so we're gonna go and do some shopping outside. I hate the lighting in here. I don't like it at all. But um, yeah, y'all. I'm sad I wasn't able to get anything, but it's fine. How did I find a show in the juice? Oh my God, you guys know I'm addicted to Joe. So happy. So I got my sandwich out, and why is this only like five euros here, which is like probably seven euros at most. I mean, seven dollars at most. They're selling the sandwich for like twelve dollars in New York. Twelve. But basically, I got my sandwich. I went to my cousin. She was in the bathroom, and they don't have cheese here. And I typically always get cheese, but I gotta go because I know the pain is so. But we're in Primark now. We've been walking across like the strip, um, in Oxford. I think this is men's Dante. I think this is men's and kids. So yeah, we're in Prime right now. We were looking around to see the stuff they had. A lot of stores really don't have much like stuff that I would want to buy, except for that one house that we top from Selfridges. But it's an unsuccessful shopping day. So we might be heading back to the hotel after here. Um, but we wanted to look around. Excuse me. So. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys once we get inside. But let me show you guys Primark for anybody who hasn't. Let me show you guys Primark for anybody who hasn't seen it. We're in Primark Stratford. So, this is where we're at. The city full of fashion. And, yeah, it's a lot of stuff. And they have, like, a lot of, like, cheap clothing. When I say cheap, I mean affordable, like, very affordable. So, yeah it is hours later it's like 9 45 right now after we came back in from shopping it started raining so we just got an uber and went home um well to the hotel and i knocked out my cousin had some food at stk because our hotel is also connected with stk and we just went to sleep until it was time to go to the lounge because we were tired not gonna lie um so yeah i'm dressed we're going to hyatt lounge um it's in greenwich i got a lot of recommendations everybody was like go to hyatt go to hyatt go to hyatt and i was like of course i was actually taking everyone's recommendations so that's what we're doing i'm dressed pretty casual i wore this outfit when i went out the last night in paris but i was like i could be wear it again <laughs> i literally just wore it for like probably less than an hour because we got there an hour before closing so it's very street cash top is frenemies um jeans don't know where these are from um they were gifted to me i think they were like custom made i'm so sorry and then these are my favorite dunks you already know the chinese new year dunk and i have one my shenanigans and my jbw watch so my cousin is waiting for me downstairs so i'm gonna head downstairs so she won't be waiting on me any longer and like i said it might be montage mode from now on because nine times out of ten they're gonna be playing music <laughs> Chance reporting live from London. <laughs> it's the next day, you guys. I didn't give you guys a debrief of Hyatt Lounge. Hyatt Lounge is a vibe, okay? It's a vibe. I enjoyed my time. Like, I just loved it. The vibes are amazing. Like, it just gave what I wanted it to give, you know? Um, and it was already lit on a random Wednesday night. So, imagine on the weekends, like, I just know that's the it spot, especially in the summertime because the place is so beautiful, so big. I know that's the it spot. I'm not going to lie, y'all. It's very far from where we were staying. We're staying in Westminster right now and Hyatt is in Greenwich. Y'all, that was like a 40-minute drive. It was so far, so far. But I'm not going to lie. I think it was worth the drive because no shade. 
I be driving to Queens to go to spots sometimes, so it's like, okay, like, you know, it's kind of similar, but we were just, but we just didn't expect it to be that far, and I feel like if we, like, you know, expected it to be that far, we would have been more prepared, but nevertheless, the vibes were really, really good, customer service is really, really nice as well, and somebody was celebrating their birthday last night, so it was just so amazing to see, like, you know, my UK Brits in their habitat, basically, <laughs> like, they, like, y'all are so fun, like, uh, my London babes are so fun. Like, I'm just like, I was literally in awe. Like, I was looking at these people in awe. And I know they were probably like, why is this girl looking at us? I was just smiling. Like, y'all know how, like, old people be looking at young kids with their own thing, like, on the street or something like that? I was literally, like, one of that. I was just smiling, like, just looking at them. Like, I was just in awe. Everybody is just so beautiful out here, too. So nice. I was like, oh, amazing. But today is our last full day in London. Um, we actually went to sleep at, like, yeah, we went to sleep at, like, 3 a.m. last night. Um, it's currently, I believe, 10.30, if I'm not mistaken. Today's our last full day, so we're going to be doing some sightseeing today. On the agenda, we have the Westminster Abbey. We're going to go to Tate Britain, the museum. I'm not too sure if it's Tate Britain or Tate Modern. I don't know if the names are alternate or if there are two different things. I should really look into that. But the one that I want to go to is near us, regardless. Um, and then we're going to go see the Big Ben, the Big Clock, or whatever. And then later on, we're going to go to the London Eye because it is still a gloomy day. And instead of paying to go see the London Eye right now on the gloomy day and we won't be able to see anything, we just decided to go do it later on in the evening when it's darker so you see the lights, the city more, if that makes sense. So, yeah. So that's basically our agenda for today. My outfit is super cute. I feel like it's just screaming like raging prep. I, I'm gonna just show it to you guys. This is my outfit for today. We have the Tyler Lambert hat, Vivian necklace that I had to turn into a choker because the way that I wanted this jacket, the necklace just was not sitting on the same level, so I just turned into a choker like with a scrunchie and it's low key choking me. So, yeah, but anything for the look basically. This jacket is from Zara. Oh my god, my thing unbuttoned. I gotta button that back up. But this jacket is from Zara, the men's section. You guys remember when I was doing my, um, travel prep i went to go pick up this jacket last minute because i came up with this outfit last minute and then these pants are by anderson bell i'm not wearing these sneakers these are just the sneakers i'm gonna be walking around with i'm gonna be wearing my silver zara heels i'm gonna see if i can keep this hat on all day because when i was trying to get on my room i was sweating and i don't want to sweat but it's colder in london so not colder honestly london has been the warmest feeling place even though they're saying like it's 30 degrees right now venice was terrible Milan was cold, Paris was cold, London has been like the warmest feeling place, if that makes sense. Like they say it's 30 degrees right now, it does not feel like 30 degrees, um, so I'm, I'm not complaining at all, okay? But um, yeah, that's basically it for right now. I will talk to you guys and update you guys later once we uh, go to breakfast. You guys, we made it to the Westminster Abbey. It's literally right here, but before we go in, I'm going to take my cousin's pictures in front of this phone booth. So, yeah, I'm gonna put you guys here. Hopefully nobody steals you guys. I pray nobody steals you guys. Not somebody stealing them. Still not go crazy. I hope nobody steals them. You think I should take off my jacket? No, keep it on. I mean, let's keep... I'm in London, I like to go and shop at the mall. Shop at the Prada, shop at the store. Shop in the drop and stop in Dior. Louis Vuitton, cover my toes. Throw my trousers, look at my bricks. These are my tennis, look at my shoes. Look at my shoes. Come hot soaps and sand. Men's outside in cops and shambles. Please quick talk, no rambles. Soon as they send they bread, I cancel. Literally started pouring after we left the oh my God. It's hot. It's good. Oh, so go get sugar. Oh no, I'm gonna go get some. Oh. But like, I'm sorry, I didn't know how to make it. Black? No, I made. The, I said do them white, do a white oh, or something. Hell. But it started raining, you guys. So now we just stopped at buy out a cafe to like you know warm up and Can't wash my wait stuff. for the you know, wait for the rain to stop. Um, so yeah, I got a hot chocolate and a chocolate chip cookie. So my cousin and I, we got a chocolate chip cookie to share. So yeah, we're just waiting the rain out. My hat got wet, my hair got wet. So when I take like my pictures later on, I might just go back to the hotel and you know a little dry in a bit but for right now we're just at this cafe waiting for the rain to stop so we're going on the eyes and 
building right here and then they'll to go to the hotel to come right back so yeah the rain was not stopping anytime soon so we just decided to wait it out at the hotel and we could probably start packing or whatever but my hair is wet, everything is wet, so. That eight minutes is clearly up. Yeah, that eight minutes is up and, <laughs> and it's, it's still, still raining, raining, so. Damn, you <laughs> my mom. <laughs> it is a later, we've made it back out. The rain has not stopped. We just decided to continue. Because at this point, we're gonna not be able to do the and I if we just keep on waiting for this rain to stop. So we're on our way to the London Eye right now. And after we're gonna go to Tate Britain, they both close at 6 p.m. So I think that we should have enough time though. Like they're both in the same area. The London Eye is 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we take like a five minute Uber to Tate because it's right there. And then, yeah, we should be good. We made it to the queue for the London Eye. And it's not that many people on the tube with us. I think it's like four other people. Guys, we're practically at the top right now. Like, I think like we're the next car to be up top. The views here is just amazing. Like London. London is such a big and beautiful city. Like, wow, you guys. Wow. We're basically at the top, you guys. Crazy. We are officially at the top, you guys. Oh my god, this is crazy. OMG go crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> we just got off the London Eye and we're currently in some fish and chip spot that's on the boardwalk. Um, kind of some Wi-Fi so that we can order Uber and get some real food. Um, but yeah. So that's basically uh, what we're doing right now. It was really, really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed that montage. It wasn't my first time doing London Eye, but I really forgot how everything looked. I only went to London one time, and that was like 10 years ago. So now I feel like I can really remember. So <laughs> yeah, um, it was cool though. How did you enjoy it? Definitely cool. I think that it was very slow. It could have been a little quicker, but honestly, that's good. Because if you're really trying to take in a view, um, then it's amazing, amazing for photos, all of that. So yeah, 10 out of 10. But yeah, like I said, we're about to walk everywhere to get some food. We aren't going to be able to make it to Tate Britain. It's currently 5.56. We just said it's okay. I don't have to do alumni rather than Tate Britain just because I was going to go to Tate Britain for pictures. And I can take pictures anywhere. So yeah, that's basically that. I will talk to you guys once we get some food or once we find out where we're going. We made it back to the hotel and we went to Arcle Salon. I tried to talk to you guys a bit, but you know, we were playing music, smoking hookah, just chilling, vibing. You feel me? Back at the hotel. Did I wash my hair when I walked in? Wash it? No, you didn't. <laughs> It's like 10 or 9. No, I think it's 9. It's not even 10 o'clock yet. Um, let me make sure though. Yeah, it's 9.15. We're calling it a night early because we have to pack, clean this room. I can't wait to take this wig off right after I'm done vlogging. Um, but yeah, I'm going to eat some of my leftovers from the place first, chill a bit, and then start packing. I'm not going to really vlog packing because you guys saw me packing before. And also, you guys saw all the fits. So what's the point of watching me pack? So I'll probably talk to you guys either in the morning or yeah, probably in the morning. Yeah. It Ground is cool. checkout time and I have all my infamous checkout sweatsuit. I just finished checking out. We are going back to the States. This trip has come to an end. 
it's been a long memorable fun two weeks like this is my most this is my favorite trip that I've ever taken, like straight up, hands down, my favorite trip that I've ever taken. I just love this trip so much. I loved Europe, I loved everywhere that I visited. No hiccups anywhere, like I'm just so happy. But yeah, you guys, it's gonna be the end of the vlog. We just ordered our Uber to go to London Gatwick. I don't know why we chose that um, airport. Obviously, we weren't paying attention, but London City is closer to our hotel than London Gatwick. Gatwick Airport is literally over an hour away from us. We literally had to wake up four hours prior to um, our actual flight just so we could ensure being one time. And we're flying an airline that we've never even heard of, let alone flown before. So yeah, we was like, let's just get there early. So it's currently like 7.30, no, 8 o'clock. It's 8.10, we got by like 7.30, um, got everything but yeah now we're headed out and yeah this is gonna be the end of the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed if you did let me know in the comments down below i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye